In this video, I'm going to show you how to make stacked bar charts using Google Sheets. In this example, the data I'm going to use is the Billion Dollar Disasters data set. This is data brought together by NOAA. It captures information from 1980 to current on disasters, natural disasters that have struck the United States that have had over a billion dollars in, um, in cost associated with them. Uh, these disasters range uh, across different types. There's things like droughts, flooding, uh, various types of storms, wildfires, things of that nature. A really interesting data set. All right, so I've got this data already loaded into a Google Sheet. Uh, so here it is, the billion dollar disasters data set. Like I said, starts in 19. 80 and goes until current. Uh, each row represents one year. There are various columns uh, that we can see here. For example, there's uh, drought, and you can see there's several columns associated with drought, uh, B through I here. Uh, there's the count of drought-related events uh, per year. There's the cost, and that cost is in billions of dollars. Remember, this is the billion dollar disasters data set. So for example, here's one drought in 1980 that cost 33.9 billion. Uh, there's other uh, uh, data sets here uh, showing some quartile information, um, other uh, 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 drought ones, and then it moves on to flooding, and you repeat the same thing. We've got counts, we've got cost, and then we've got some other uh, ranges of flooding. And as I scroll to the right, lots more columns for freezing events, uh, severe storm events, uh, and so forth, going all the way out. Now down uh, here at the very end, uh, they also have uh, some columns for all disasters. So not categorized by disaster type, uh, but just all aggregated together. So we've got all those columns to work with. So in this example, I'm going to go through and make a bar chart. I'm going to focus on the count of disasters by type. So I'm interested in, uh, say, drought count and, and so forth. So for this, um, I want to be able to make a chart where I've got stacks of count by type uh, for each disaster type per year. So across the horizontal, I want my years. Going vertically, I want count of disaster, but I want each stack in that to be the count of, say, drought or, or, or freezing or flooding. So I'm going to select uh, all my years by clicking the column header A there. I want count. So I'm going to hold the control button on my keyboard. I'm going to click the uh, drought count column. And I'm going to skip over all these because I want to focus on the count of each event type. So I'm going to go to flood, uh, I see freeze here. I'm gonna, con again, holding control so I can add to my selection. Uh, I'm gonna add, con holding control. I'm gonna click this column Z to get my severe storms. Scrolling right further, I'm gonna hold control. I'm gonna grab my uh, tropical cyclone count. Here I've got wildfire control click. Scrolling right, I'm going to get my winter storm count, control click, and I'm getting close to the end. Now, I've, all I've got left is the all. I'm going to exclude all, so I'm not going to highlight that. So I've got all those different types, the count of uh, uh, disaster per year that was over a billion dollars. All right, so I've got all those selected. Now I'm ready to start building my stack bar chart. So I'm going to go into insert and pick chart. And I've got a chart. It's not at all what I want. It looks kind of weird. Uh, first off, I'm going to move this to its own sheet so it can be big, fill, fill the whole screen. All right. And I'm going to edit that chart. All right. So right now it's set up as a column chart. That's not what I want. I want a stacked, uh, stacked chart. So it's under column here. I want a stacked columns chart. So I'm going to pick that. All right, that's, that's looking a little weird. One of the things I noticed is what are all these big blue bars? That's my years data. So my years is, is one of my stack components here. That's not what I want. I don't want it to be a series. I want years to be my x-axis. So I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to remove year. 
as a series, one of my stacks, you can see that immediately looks a lot better. Uh, but I do want that year information going across that x-axis. So under x-axis, I'm going to define that as my year column uh, for my, my sheet. Uh, I'm going to scroll down here. Uh, my data, if you remember, um, does have row one here is my uh, my the headers for that data. So I'm gonna go back over here. I'm gonna mark row one is headers. All right, that's looking pretty good. I uh, got some interesting stuff going into my data. I can see uh, there's some improvements I can make to my chart to make this a little more readable. Imagine somebody's walking up to this, looking at it for the first time. You want them to be able to kind of scan their eyes across it and start to make sense out of this data. So what I could I could do is I've got my years uh, added at the bottom. That's pretty self-explanatory. But I've got these numbers over here that are completely unlabeled. So I'm going to go under customize and work on that vertical axis. All right. So I'm going to go under vertical axis here. Um, and one of the things I want to do is uh, remember this is in in uh, this is count of disasters. So um, let's see. Uh, the number is fine. Actually, what I need is an is a label. So it's not under vertical axis. It's under axis titles. So I'm going to expand that. I want to modify that vertical axis. I want to want to say uh, disaster count is, would be a good label on that. All right. So now I know that those numbers mean the count of total disasters per year. Uh, and let's give this chart a nice title as well. Uh, and we'll call it disaster count per year. All right, so I see that showing up up here. Uh, I'm going to make it big, uh, bolder. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll make it a little bigger. So nice and nice and prominent in this chart. All right, that's coming together nicely. So now I can start to look at my data. I've got good axes, nice labels that are uh, uh, easy to understand. I can start looking at my data and seeing what's going on. Uh, so from 1980 to current, look at that. You start to see, I don't know, maybe a, a general trend. It seems to be kind of climbing. We've got some really expensive disasters here in uh, recent years. All these over a billion, and look at these counts are really getting up high over the last five years or so. So pretty interesting data. Uh, this is worth digging into further. Remember, back on our sheet, we only use the, the count. We've got other columns available that might be interesting to us. Uh, maybe to polish this off, I'm going to name my tab down here. I'm going to call this um, uh, count uh, per year. All right, good way to finish it off.